Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC such that uh, its uh, hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, 255 uh, units. And moreover, the perimeter of this uh, triangle is uh, 546 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, given uh, triangle. And we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, the side lengths of this uh, right triangle. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, lowercase a, this side uh, lowercase b, and this high part in use the longest leg as our side C. And here's our strategy. Since we are interested in calculating uh, the area of this uh, given uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, our base uh, is uh, this B and our height uh, is uh, A. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle is going to become uh, a half times uh, a times b. So I can write uh, a times b divided by 2. So thus in order to calculate the area of this uh, triangle, we must find the value of uh, a times b divided by 2. Let me call this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's recall the Pythagorean uh, theorem. a square plus b square equal to c square, where c is our uh, longest leg uh, the hypotenuse and in our case our c value is 255 so we are going to substitute uh, this value over here in this equation so therefore this equation is going to become uh, a square plus uh, b square equals to 255 uh, whole uh, square let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number two and now we know that the perimeter of this uh, triangle is uh, 546. And now we know that the perimeter is just the sum of uh, all these three sides, uh, A plus B plus C, as you can see in this uh, equation. And now we know that the perimeter that has been given to us uh, as 546, and we know our C value is 200. 55. So therefore, we can write 546 equals to a plus b plus 255. Let me go ahead and subtract 255 from both sides. This cancels out. So therefore, we got a plus b equals to 546 minus 255 is going to give us 200 and uh, 91. Let me go ahead and square uh, both uh, sides uh, of this uh, equation. And now let's recall this famous uh, identity. A plus B whole square could be written as uh, A square plus B square plus 2 times uh, AB. We are going to apply it on this binomial on the left hand side. So therefore we can write uh, A square plus B square plus uh, 2 times uh, a B equals to 291 whole square. And now let's make an observation. We can see A square plus B square equals to 255 whole square from this equation too. So therefore I'm going to substitute this A square plus B square by 255 whole square. So therefore, I can write uh, 255 whole square plus uh, 2 times uh, AB equals to 291 whole square. Let me go ahead and move this uh, term uh, 255 whole square on the other side. So therefore, we are ended up uh, 2AB on the left hand side equals to 291 whole square minus uh, 255 whole square on the right hand side. 
And now let's recall another identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, the product uh, a minus b times uh, a plus b. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. Let me call this as an a and this uh, as a b. So therefore uh, 2 times uh, a b equals to this right hand side could be written as uh, 291 minus uh, 255 times uh, 291 plus uh, 255. And now if we subtract uh, these uh, numbers, we are going to get uh, 36. And if we add uh, these uh, two numbers, that is going to give us 546. So therefore, uh, 2 times uh, a, b, could be written as 36 times 546. And now let's make an observation since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, triangle. And the area formula is uh, a times b divided by 2. We are going to find the value of uh, this from this equation 1. So therefore, uh, I am going to divide this left hand side uh, by 4. So this way we can get this uh, a b divided by 2. And since I divided this one by 4, so I'm going to divide this one uh, by 4 on the right hand side as well. So therefore the left hand side if we simplify becomes uh, a times uh, b divided by 2 equals to here we can see 36 divided by 4 uh, reduces to 9. So this could be written as 9 times uh, 500. Uh, and 46 and since we are not supposed to be using calculators so now I can tweak this uh, 546 could be written as uh, 500 plus uh, 40 and then plus uh, 6 so therefore uh, this equation is going to become uh, a b divided by 2 equals to 9 times uh, 500 plus uh, 40 plus uh, 6 and now let's go ahead and distribute this uh, 9 across the board. So therefore uh, a b divided by 2 could be written as equal to 4500 plus uh, 360 plus uh, 54. And now we can easily add uh, these numbers on the right hand side. So therefore uh, a b divided by 2 turns out to be 4914 and now we know that a b divided by 2 is just simply the area of this given triangle. So therefore the area of this given triangle turns out to be 4900 and uh, 14 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be 4914 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.